guys welcome back to another episode of the stable uh, maybe you guys can see all the clouds behind me we kind of been waiting out it's friday night um i don't even know what's the date today um but weather passed over our friend tc down in pueblo with the green mustang that i raced if you guys seen that video um he lives down there so the weather passed over there too uh it's nice nice and cool so we're going racing again um I don't have the drag radials I want yet. I'm still run, running the ones that my neighbor Bob hooked me up with. Um, nothing wrong with them. They're, the sidewall just super stiff, so I don't want to break nothing in the rear end. But at least it's it's stable up top, so that's nice. Um, just, let's see, uh, over here, got these nice VP Racing cans. And so I just topped the Boss off with some E85. We switched the Boss and the 96 around because my parents' expedition uh, the battery's dead in there so i was able to kind of play musical mustangs and get this out without having to move it again so right now uh i gotta change and get ready for the track so we'll pick up with you guys probably on the road all right guys you can see we are back down here at pmp looks like it's a nice day got me Jalen. hopefully i can get you guys a better angle today we got a new chin mount for the helmet and then uh, you guys will see we got our light our indicator for the second fuel pump and our shift lights installed this time so we gotta let the car cool down go tech in uh, fill out our paperwork and then go make our pass So we can, now that we got the excitement died down a little bit, I just plugged up my shift light. I'm all, it's getting power already, but should be fine. So we went, we cut a 0.1660 foot, 1.7, or I'm sorry, we had a 0.16 reaction, a 1.760 foot. We went 101 in the eighth and then a 10.7 at 133. So, um, I didn't really know what I launched that, and I'm pretty sure I short shifted a second again, but um, you guys will see how hard the car kind of bogged in in the video, but super happy. We're gonna try to build upon that. We got the shift light in there. I'm just gonna double check that I have it set correctly. Launch this thing probably at 5,000 or maybe 55, and uh, go from there. Our tire pressure was about 14, but I noticed, I thought we had these going the wrong way. Uh, Big O actually mounted this one on the opposite side of the tire. So it shows the rotation is going the opposite way. So I'm gonna have to go back down there maybe tomorrow and get them to flip that tire around. Cause I went to go pull both these tires off and realized that they're both have the rotation going the same way. So I go back to big O for that, but 
not too bad so far. My dad said he missed second gear, I think, in Jalen's car. So we're letting both these cars cool down. staging lanes again for run number two we got Jalen up here talking to my dad so Jalen you giving dad a pep talk you gonna miss any gears this time dad probably <laughs> so, so you guys can see up there between those people we got TC about right there so uh, they're finishing up high school now and then we're kind of at the back so we'll kind of see how this all gets paired up so I can either be with this Hellcat or maybe my dad I don't know. We'll see how everything pairs up. All right, guys. So if you can hear me, I just looked it up. Uh, the DA right now is 7387. So still pretty high. All right, guys. I remember turning the GoPro on this sign. Hopefully it's a good angle for you guys. My dad's right in front of me. Like my dad ran a 13.5, I didn't see the miles per hour. spun really bad <laughs> and then it was still spinning a second so I don't imagine this time's gonna be very good I think that guy in that Hellcat right there said he went a 10-4 so I was hoping to do the same as last time if not better but like I said we spun pretty good which you'll be able to see from the video because we got sideways so I guess uh 5300 rpm was too much yeah 12 oh 130 foot yeah it dropped off but like i said guys we were spinning pretty bad all right guys sitting in the staging lane again hopefully the view comes out good when i edit this video but we are about to race Jalen. <laughs>
guys, we can't end that off there. That one 560 foot is what I needed to go a 10-3 or 10-4. So jumping back in line doesn't seem to be that long. And we're gonna go at it again. Uh, Jalen's gonna run it again as well. Guys, we are running Jalen again. We're gonna run that back. See if I can do it without missing second gear this time. Repeating everything the same. Tire pressure is like 0.2 lower than what it was. It was at 15 the first time. It's at 14.8 now, but after the burnout, it should be back up to around where it was. So hopefully with that and launching at 4,000 RPM again, um, we will be golden. And then hopefully over here in this, over here by my left hand, in the footage going back and looking at this i'll see this little red light flashing because it's kind of too much to try to look at while i'm racing especially with this red light for the shift light flashing in my face now so hopefully we have a good view because my buddy tc up there is running he went a 10-4 at 130 on his last pass all right we get to see what tc does Yeah, 10.5 at 130 for TC. in it otherwise i was just gonna cruise it out but yep spun pretty bad so maybe it has something to do with something in that lane so a car went down there and i guess exploded his diff and they had some fluid that they were cleaning up and then as you guys seen they were mopping that side of the track so maybe there was something still there because i launched at the same thing according to the shift light so i guess we'll see I'll leave the GoPro on for you so we can see this time slip, even though it's going to be garbage. But it looks like nothing is broke. We can turn traction control back on or advanced track. Because that's the last run for the night, guys. We made three passes, get to go home unbroken. Thank you. Yeah, 12.8 at 118. Yeah, it was a 1960 foot, so it was spinning bad, so didn't really even get in it that much. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for our track event today. Um, in the road, the last pass you guys probably seen on GoPro, it was a botched run. Uh, spun in first, spun real bad in second, and I was about to abort the run at that point, but. I seen Jalen rolling up in my uh, side view mirror, so I got back in it just so Jalen can't ever say he beat me. In our third pass, we went uh, a 1560 foot, and if I wouldn't have missed second, all right, guys, that probably would have been a 10 3 or a 10 4. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content. There's gonna be tons of more boss content coming, so please be sure to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.